All right, so it's been a year since I purchased my 2015 Mustang, brand new. You can see it's just like it was before with the only modification being the exhaust. I put a Flowmaster original 40 series uh, cat back system on, deleted the resonator, and installed an X pipe in its place. So, has a much more throatier tone. It's overall much better sound. Um, pretty amazing. But uh, right now, like I said, it's been just a couple days past the, the one year anniversary of purchasing the car. Really nothing different uh, as far as anything but the exhaust so I started up here see it's got kind of a throaty tone very nice rumble at idle um, as you can see I have 13,094 miles on there and the trip as you can see, it has 354 hours, 37 minutes, 20 seconds, and 21.8 miles per gallon average. That is actually 1,000, or no, 10,300, I don't know, what am I talking about? That is, no, that is 12,229 miles total um, that I started that. I started it probably, well, shortly after I bought the car. Yeah, as you can tell, it, it resets at 9,999 miles. It resets back to zero, but the timer keeps going. So that's kind of kind of weird. But over that all that mileage, it's 21.8 miles per gallon. And actually, it was 21.9 for a while. But I've been doing a little more city driving today, which is still a majority of what I drive. But I did take a couple county roads too, which helps bring the mileage back up. And of course, highway mileage, this thing averages probably 28, 29, pretty dang easily, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it's really the same old Mustang otherwise, but uh, sounds freaking awesome. So I cannot cannot complain about the exhaust at all, and I'll have a another video just on the exhaust to kind of give you an idea of what what has been done, how it sounds outside the car, but um, yeah, I, I the only complaint I have about this car, the only complaint, at first when I first started driving it, the shifting was kind of funky because I was used to my Shelby and just about every other Mustang I've had before that, that was a stick shift, which I've had a 2010 GT, I had the 07 Shelby GT500, I've had a 2002 GT 5 speed, and it really, it's funky because it, it kind of anticipates you shifting to the next gear and it kind of sets at that RPM for that next gear for a couple of seconds, just kind of hovers there. And when you're not used to that at first, you know, I, the Shelby, I was used to skipping gears. I go first, third, fifth, or just into sixth, depending on, you know, how fast I was going is it really, that car is powerful. You don't need it, you know, you don't need all those gears half the time when you're just cruising. This car would be the same way, but of course, like I said, it kind of anticipates you going to that next gear, so you can't really just skip a gear unless you hold in the clutch for a full like three seconds, and then it finally starts to drop past that, and then you can put it into the next gear without it, you know, having too high RPM. It's kind of weird, but I've gotten used to that. I've gotten over it. It's still funky, but uh, it's it's not the end of the world. There's some cars that are like that. Some people like it because it helps them shift better. It just throws me off. But regardless, awesome car. I can't complain, like I said, about anything, but there is trim piece on the dash up here. It's a little dusty up here. This piece, it's on the other side too, but it's not quite as warped or sticking out. But this piece seems to have, it's supposed to be down there flush, but it's not. So that's kind of weird. Let's give it a couple more revs. It's pretty sweet. RPM didn't go that high, but um, anyways, enough of that. And there's one other thing. And I know this, this is kind of common with a lot of Ford vehicles. Really a lot of vehicles in general. There is 
Of course, bug guts on my front end. But I want to say, was it this side? Yeah, this side here. This is the passenger corner where the bumper meets the fender. A little bit of paint scraping off there because I'm guessing it rubs against the fender. So, um, that's it. And that's really just pretty dang minor. But, again, she's a beauty and I love this car. I've been kind of toying with the idea of getting a, a different vehicle though. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that the more I think about it. But uh, I do need a vehicle that can also work in the winter. And like last winter I just bought a beater, beater car. But um, I'm probably going to end up keeping this car anyways and just doing the same thing. But I was thinking about getting a, maybe a new Focus. But eh, I don't think I can do it. So anyways, I'll end it here. But uh, yeah.